Hello guys, today in this video we will learn how to analyze the gas flow statement based on trend analysis technique in Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so before I show you the analysis of this statement, first we have to take the gas flow statement data. Okay, so you can see that we have the gas flow statement data okay as well as the sales revenue data although this is not applicable for this uh, technique however i have kept it because i have just copied this data from the common size cash flow statement because the common size cash flow statement requires the sales revenue as well that's why okay however let's skip this one just focus the cash flow statement okay so based on this information we can analyze the trend of the cash flow statement okay so without spending more time, let's get started. All right, you can see that this is the, you know, questions area, which shows our the cash flow statement that I have just copied from sheet two to sheet three. And this is our calculation area where we will calculate the percentage of all the component of cash flow statement so first before i start to calculate the percentage of the cash flow statements component i would like to tell you what is trend so actually the trend means it shows the direction or nature of the component of the particular things that could be increasing in trend decreasing in trend or sidewalk in trend okay in other words the trend analysis helps to identify the nature of the trend that i told you earlier okay now let me tell you one thing the trend percentage can be calculated by using the formula as value of current year divided by value of base year into 100 okay so we'll use that formula all right okay now click here let's start to calculate it so press the equal to sign and now first let's select the value this one press the divide sign from your keyboard and now select this one why i have selected this two times because this sale reference showing in the denominator represents that this is the value of base year and this is the value of current year all right now before i press the enter key let's fix the column okay so that we can move forward easily without interrupting the column c all right so here i'm going to put the dollar sign from the keyboard and i'll press the enter key all right now click here and now just put the cursor here and drag right here all right you can see now click here and just drag down from here to here all right now you can see the error in this area why because there is no value that is the value is showing zero in this area all right so to fix this error first click here and now let's go to the formula bar and now click here and now let's add a one function called if error so i'm going to put if error and now press the tab you can see the formula displaying here all right now press the open parenthesis and i'll click here and i'll press comma and i'll put the value zero and i'll press the close parenthesis and i'll press the enter key all right and now click here and i'll press the close parenthesis and now press the enter key all right now click here and now just drag from here to here and i'll put the cursor here and double click on this corner to drag down the value all right you can see we have successfully fixed the error all right now you can see that the value is showing in the percentage form why because i have already changed the format in this area from this drop down list all right you can change from here all right now let's add the border here so just select from here to here and now let's make it bold first and then to add the border just use the shortcut key from the keyboard so i'm going to type alt h b d and you can see now click here and now just select from here to here and now press ctrl c to copy it and now click here and now press ctrl v to paste it similarly click here and now press ctrl v to paste it and click here and now press ctrl v to paste it all right you can see now press ctrl yes to save it all right now let's uh, remove unnecessary values from this calculation area according to the particular column where there is no any item of the cash flow statement for example here you can see there is no any item showing here so that remove this value okay so here i'm going to select this one and i'll press the delete button from your keyboard to remove the value similarly click here and now just select from here to here and now press control button from your keyboard and now select this one and now press the delete button from your keyboard to remove the value similarly click here and now just select from here to here and now press the control button from your keyboard and now select from here to here 
and I'll press the delete button from your keyboard to remove the value. Now you can see that and now let's make it bold this one. All right, because this this line is showing in bold form. All right. Now press control yes to save it. Now we are successfully calculated all the values of all the component of the cash flow statement. Now based on this finding, we can interpret the result. For example, the cash received from sales. You can see that the percentage is increasing in trend. You can see from 2021 to 2026, it has gone up to 161.05%. So this value showing in increasing in trend. Similarly, for this one, that is the cash payment to purchase, you can see this is also showing in the increasing in trend. Okay. Similarly, you can see here the value is showing 0%. Why? Because there is no any item or value here. And uh, now if you will see the interest paid on bank loan item, the value is showing in decreasing in trend because this value has gone up to 82.52%. All right. Which is less than 100%. Similarly, if you will see the additional paid in capital, this value is showing in sidewalk trend. Why? Because if you will see the value is increased in 2022 from the 2021st while decrease in 23rd. Again, it will increase from 23rd, then again decrease in 2025. That means a little bit increase in decrease, increase in decrease in nature. That's why this trend is known as sidewalk trend. All right. So this is the, you know, uh, technique to identify the trend of the component of cash flow statement. All right. So guys, it's a very easy to prepare it. Thanks for watching this video. If you find it useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Signing off.